Houston's local Fox station reporting the Rockets have agreed with Daryl Morey on a four-year extension. Go Northwestern. So what is Morey up to? Well, last night, Rockets guard Patrick Beverly on Twitter discussing reports the team is shopping him and not even shooting them down. But that's not the most interesting story. The latest report from Mark Stein says the Rockets are trying to create financial flexibility so they can pursue, wait for it, Chris Paul, Blake Griffin, Kyle Lowry, Paul Millsap. Do you like this, T-Mac? It sounds good. Whether they pull it up, <laughs> I mean, it, it does. You know, it's a, a bunch of big name players just don't know how they're going to mesh in a D'Antoni system when you have a ball dominator like James Harden, Chris Paul as well. I just don't know how that gonna that that'll work if this was to happen. And then you have somebody like Blake Griffin who doesn't really shoot threes as well as somebody like uh, Ryan Anderson for this group. So mm -hmm. I don't know. It's a bunch of great names that's thrown out there. Just doesn't make basketball sense from a chemistry standpoint. Uh, but we'll see. The Rockets lead the league in having big plans. Now, I respect to them. They pull them off sometimes. I was going to say. They pull them off. But they, Daryl Morey has There's big plans. There's a lot of plans. teams tanking around this league whose fans would not mind I having big plans. I am not throwing plans. any shade. I'm not throwing any shade. But every year, and apparently in four for four more years, because yes. that's what Daryl's <laughs> extension is, we're going to get big plan Daryl every summer. So I'm not surprised. Um, the, the problem here is here they very, have very limited salary caps. I don't love the idea of giving up Pat Beverly. I mean, to me, he's one of those players you're lucky you found. He's so gritty. He's so, you know, he tenacious. He has a great contract. Great. He is, in, in, by, the, by the terms of the, what they're, where the contracts are in the NBA right now, he has one of the best value contracts in the league. And he's not, not afraid of anyone. He is not. He's a, he's, a, <laughs> he's a dog out there on the basketball court. He competes a you know, against anybody, any given night, no matter how big, how small you are. I mean, this is somebody I would love to play with in he's my had, day. He's someone, had some injury issues. Someone tweeted about yeah. Cleveland. The Cavs had some talks with the Rockets about Patrick Beverly at the trade deadline. Um, the problem is, is that the Rockets would need to get off of salary to pull any of this stuff off, and the Cavs can't take Beverly in without giving something back Correct. in return. But Patrick Beverly is the type of player the Cavs need. Um, he can defend those perimeter guys, even though he's smaller than them. Um, it's, he, he, it is questionable as to why the Rockets have now had a second round of trade talks with him because so many people value him, especially with that contract. If they want to trade him, they could probably trade him in the next 15 minutes. It's just a matter of whether or not it's a deal that helps them with their next plan. And they don't want to give him up for nothing right. if they don't know they're getting one of their targets.